This idea came out of the context of thinking of alternatives to SETI, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. Uh, for example, you can use Mars's natural microwave atmosphere to do interstellar signaling, a bending mode of CO2, or you can look for photon orbital angular momentum, uh, and so on. So an alternative might be something we've been calling quantum SETI. Picture uh, you having this nice double slit experiment and it has interference fringes, and uh, along one of the paths is a fairly good sized room. And you're watching and the interference pattern goes away. And you say to yourself, hmm, it's the same intensity, so what caused it to go away and still have the same intensity? Well, the answer would be an observer. Right, and there are various non-destructive ways to do this. So along one of the paths, somebody's looking at one of the slits. So you go into the room and there's a grad student fiddling with a polarizing filter or something, or maybe even a remote TV camera, but basically somebody is looking at one of the slits, and that will cause the interference pattern to go away uh, non-interferingly, so. Okay, so now let's jump to the it's the Wheeler Cosmic Double Slit Experiment in which he proposed that you make the paths indistinguishable because by inserting a long path A, a uh, light year long fiber optics cable. Well, you can get away with, instead of a fiber optics cable, we've worked out that you can get away with using narrow band filters in the radio. And the reason you can do that is because basically it's which path knowledge that you want to erase. It doesn't matter that the two lengths of the, in other words, A and B don't have to be equal in length. The primary thing is that you can't be able to tell which path the light took. Okay, so say we have a nice interference pattern going with the Wheeler double slit experiment and we start to look at gravitational lens sources that are closer and closer in path to the galaxy. So at first we're going around the galaxy and then we look at closer and closer paths as we sweep across the galaxy. Well, suddenly our interference pattern goes away. Did an asteroid get in the way? No. Uh, the intensity is the same. So none of the paths are being blocked. So what happened? There's an observer in the galaxy and the interference pattern goes away because somebody can tell which path knowledge, and it's an extraterrestrial intelligent being. So it's a very simple idea, the devil's in the details, but basically we think we can do quantum SETI. So stay tuned as we say at the SETI Institute. Thank you.